today is Thursday and I'm about to be heading to a um, potluck dinner at my husband's job. I didn't want to go, but I have to go because, well, in me personally, I feel like I have to go because at some point I need to meet everybody he work with and his soldiers and stuff. So this is a good opportunity to go and do that. Um, good thing I keep my wigs up and ready to go because I had no intentions on doing anything with my hair until tomorrow for the brunch. And then he told me about this last night. So I just grabbed her and put her on, fixed her up. It didn't take much. Hey guys, so it is like within a few minutes, I have to head over to the building for the military spouse appreciation brunch. Um, I'm still dealing with Matt and his bull crap this morning. This is why I hate having one vehicle. But um, he's taking care of a few things and then I have to bring MJ to the building because they I have to bring him to another building because they offered free child care for this event. So I could not pass this up. Like even though I don't have nobody to go with, I just could not pass this up. Free event free child care but um so they asked us to come a little earlier because they get giving away a few things and they want to make sure that is out the way before the actual um, program start so I'm gonna go after Matt finished doing what he have to do I'm kind of nervous but I think I'll be okay <laughs> I have been in plenty of situations where I didn't know anyone and just like that I sparked up a conversation with somebody <music> So I just made it back not too long ago from the event. I went to pick up MJ, then I came home. So the event, I would give a 10 out of 10. They really went out. Um, that was my first time attending a military spouse appreciation brunch. Um, the food was amazing. They had egg benedicts, uh, scrambled eggs, bacon, sausage, fruit. When we first got there, we had mimosas and cupcakes. Like they had it all laid out. Not to mention all of the gifts they gave out. They gave out three long tables of gifts. And they also gave out a $250 Amazon gift card, a $100 Amazon gift card, a $500 Ivan Smith gift card. I think that's like a furniture store. And they also gave out another $250 gift card because they had two women, uh, one bingo. So they couldn't split the $500 one so they gave the second girl the $250 gift card but I thought that was so nice on top of that we like the people everybody that attend got one of these bags so that's why I wasn't tripping about not winning because we got one of these bags also met two girls when I first got there I noticed that two girls were sitting at the table by themselves and I knew like the way they was interacting that they either knew each other or you know was friends or whatever so I asked them if it was okay to sit with them so I talked with them and got to know them like where they was from and everything I forgot their names I am so not good with names I regret not giving them my Facebook name because maybe we could have hung out in the future but um yeah it was just so nice meeting them and it was so very polite one was from oregon and the other girl was from um dc so you guys i got my very first pin inside the bag i forgot to tell y'all that they had these um proud military spouse pins and they have like about USAA and they just giving like an overview of what the what USAA do for the military um. Oh no, 
We are at the freaking what is called post office because I had to mail something off for my mama for Va not Valentine's Day but for Mother's Day and I was getting a I was getting I had a late start to Mother's Day altogether so I like kind of I'm trying to trick her into thinking that she like that I sent a card to her and it got sent back but in reality I'm sending a watch so it's gonna take longer we probably about to head back to um matt's job because he want us to hang out with him he had duty today and everybody else was off like everybody else got a three-day weekend and he had to go in for duty so that's where we about to go chill out with him and then that's pretty much it for the day tomorrow he is off so i'm gonna go to sam's and pick up a few things um in that area and then head back there. hey y'all so mj and i are walking to the park that's kind of been the thing lately getting up having a little breakfast and then heading to the park while it's nice and cool and it's not not crowded no we're not going we're not going to Momo house for a while simply because it's a lot of back and forth to Baton Rouge is nice and all but then we didn't think about we didn't think about like you okay those squirrels <laughs> all everywhere but yeah back and forth to Baton Rouge has been kind of a wear and tear on our car yeah it's a squirrel because we need new rotors and we need new shocks so we don't want to keep going back and forth and it end up damaging the truck even more so that's why we said we won't go down there for a while because since we moved here we've been back and forth at least eight, eight times to Baton Rouge and like Matt made a good um made a comment and said that it's crazy how we jump up and pack up our dog and everything and go down there and everybody don't even make an effort to come to see us which is true and that's how it was the first time around but this time we have made a promise to ourselves to not you know jump up every single time and I realized we didn't stick to that promise so now I'm fun at the park yeah I buy half fun yes is it? What, what are we gonna do now? What you gonna do next? We just relocated to the swings next to the neighborhood. Next to the neighborhood pool. I need to find my swimsuit. As soon as I find my swimsuit, soon as I find it, we are gonna come to the pool because the pool has been open for a few weeks now. I think it's been open for like <clears throat> two weeks. But, um, yeah, we're gonna do a, we're gonna start doing some of our days at the pool. You got it? You need my help? Huh? So independent. Always trying to be independent, but yeah. Got it? So we're taking a nice little walk down the hill where we were at. Yeah, MJ said he wanna go to the pool. So today I need to find the swimsuit. And that way tomorrow we'll be able to go because I have everything like sunscreen and floaties and stuff like that. <laughs> 